started. So, hi everybody. This is Jan Stringer. And Alan Hickman. And hey. this is what we look like. <laughs> hi everybody. Oh, uh, and for some, it's faces we haven't seen ever in real life, but uh, video just brings us closer. So, glad that you can take the time to be with us today on our Zoom video. And we are live streaming, of course. And today's focus is about visioneering. And that's our topic. And we're going to weave that into our strategic attraction plan, how it can be useful and instrumental to attracting your vision. And uh, Alan, why don't you say a little bit, and then I'll uh, take us to the next piece. Well, I really enjoy that, uh, that word visioneering. It's a combination of vision and engineering, sort of like strategic attraction. It uh, doesn't seem like it goes together, but uh, just in my researching of what visioneering is all about, this is going to be a really great class. So I'm glad to see some, some amazing, amazing people in the line. That's great. And uh, I've been saying it with vision and pioneering, and you just took it into another twist that I hadn't thought of. So that's really cool. So um, in a minute, we're going to do some introductions. We're going to do our best to use this technology format to allow people to introduce themselves, if you'd like to. And here's what we'd like to do, just to kind of get our party started. We're going to invite people to share your name, where you live, uh, name of your business if you'd like. But primarily what we're looking to hear from as many people as possible is what attracted you to be here. And hopefully it's something around your vision. If it's not, you know, maybe we'll get that inspired inside of you in just a little bit. But um, I would love to know more just about who's in the room, so to speak. So we've got some people on the phone call. We've got a few people, as you can see. Some of you can see on the computer on live cam. So who's going to get us started? And then Alan and I will do a little bit of introductions of ourselves. So we'll save that for just a moment. But just who's in the room? Who's here? What attracted you to be here? Tell us a little bit about yourself. So floor is open. Okay, I'll jump in. This is All Tom right. Carter of Santa Fe. And what attracted me to be here is because I am excited about the visioneering retreat and giving legs to my vision of setting up my coaching practice using the strategic attraction plan and uh, helping people reach their goals through that. So I'm very excited about this uh, pioneering, engineering, <laughs> <laughs> whichever, <laughs> <Yes. Right. laughs> of our visions uh, to make them come to fruition. Right. Okay. All right. Thanks, Anna, for going first, especially. So who's next? Floor is open. What got you here? Who are you? Where do you live? Just a little bit about, you know, if you have a vision, we'd love to hear about it. Hello, uh, this is Guy. Uh, I'll go ahead. Uh, I'm a blogger, speaker, guide at inspirationandlight.com. And what attracted me to be here was Alan and Jan. That was a starter. And uh, also, I'm making a big shift really towards my vision of doing guidance, speaking, teaching, and holding retreats. Um, so I thought this would be a great opportunity. And I've never done a Zoom chat before, so I wanted to see what that was like as well. All right. Great. Happy to be here. I'm happy to be here with you as well. So who wants to go next? I'll go next. Okay. I was just saying, I was somebody, I, there's a lot of things going on in Zoom, as you'll find out. There's a chat line over here, and people are joining. <laughs> but just before you jump in, Steve, 
down at the bottom, if you've never used Zoom, if you'll just run your cursor over the very bottom of the screen, there's a little toolbar. And one of them is where you can see who's in the room participant-wise. There's also a chat. So if you want to send me a message, I'll, be, I'll do my best to respond as soon as possible. All right, Steve, please. Okay. Um, my name is Steve Hendon. I don't know why my, I'm not coming up on the screen. You are on our screens. You're on, on our your screens. screens. Okay. Yeah, All right. I didn't you. see myself, so that's okay. Uh, my name is Steve Hendon. I live in Cedar Hill, Texas, which is uh, just right, right outside of Dallas. And uh, my company is Practice to Business. And uh, with some of the one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching work that I'm doing with Alan right now, this is a very appropriate subject for me because I am really uh, – uh, kind of evaluating and, and kind of retooling, redesigning my business. And I think visioneering is uh, an extremely appropriate word and topic for where I'm at right now. Okay. So your vision sounds like it's around your business right now. Yes. Okay, great. Okay. Who's next? Well, hi, it's Marima here. Hi, Marima. <laughs> I better speak before I fall asleep because <laughs> yeah. it's, it's more than I'm past 11 p.m. and I, I have an early start. So, uh, but I'm very glad to be here, um, um, being attracted to this call today because I've been collaborating, well, um, um, getting a lot of the mentoring and the calls and the SECA group from Young and Alan since 2014. And um, every time they put some content, it, I feel uh, incredibly attracted to it. And no matter what's going on in my life, it seems to be shifted. So I'm able to attend, attend the calls. And um, it, it specifically for this call, uh, I like the vision plus engineering. In fact, um, by the way, I live in Madrid, Spain, and my company is thebigcrewchange.com, and my vision is to serve the oil and gas industry in which I worked before. And my process is the passion engineering process. So there is an alignment there. Yeah. I, am a, I am a petroleum engineer. And I like to help people to expand the vision of possibilities and make it real. Also in oil and gas, people need help. They need mindset tools and they need to use more the intuition. And... The, it seems that at this point in time, my business is refining again, and the vision is expanding again. So I think that this is a very timely a call for me in everything that you are working on right now. So thank you for that. Okay. All right, great. So I'll go. And uh, Steve, Steve, I sent you a chat about... Uh, changing your screen view, upper right-hand corner. Uh, I'm Carrie Bell. I'm in Fairfield, Iowa. Um, I have a uh, coaching business using the strategic attraction plan and the passion yeah. test and my life experiences. And uh, basically this summer I've been focused on building a very detailed, large greenhouse for my wife. And uh, so the engine the visioneering is to uh, get me uh, regenerate not not re-energize but reprioritize whatever you want to call it to uh, get back in my coaching when the greenhouse is up and I'm in all right great 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 <laughs> all right who's next yeah, I see we've got a few more people joined in. Uh, let's see, who do I see newly? We've got John Paducek, Linda Murray, I think that might be. And we've got Mike, not sure your last name, Mike, but we've got Rachel, Sandra, Steve, Anna, Sandra Nelson, and a 202 number. I'm not quite sure what your name is, but... Um, 
anyway who wants to introduce themselves if you're just joining in we're doing a quick introduction just to get to know one another a little bit about what attracted you to be here so who else would like to introduce themselves Janet's Linda hi Linda hi Ellen hi Linda yeah we, we'll see how my my internet is struggling a bit with zoom today okay. so I'm not putting my Love video on um, so I'm Linda Murray. I live in Brisbane, Queensland, Australia, and I've worked with Jan and Ellen before, and that program has helped me progress, and I'm progressing to the stage where I actually uh, was invited to present some of my work at the Australian National Land Care Conference, and all this happened after I decided to um, speak up more about Roundup uh, glyphosate and the effects on, well, from the ground up right through to humans. And since then, Jan, I've also, and Ellen, I have now been, accept I, I was invited to write an article for their Australia magazine and it's now been accepted. Um, and yeah, and I'm writing a book called, my working title is Ground Up Without Roundup. And uh, <laughs> so... <laughs> So um, that's why I'm here because my vision is um, expanding. Yeah, for sure, expanding vision for sure. All right, great. All right, let's take one more introduction and then we may do a few more in just a minute. But who wants to be uh, on and let us know you're here? Hi. This is Rachel. Hi. Hey, Hi, Rachel. Rachel. Hello. <laughs> How are you guys? Okay, I'm here because I meet you guys. Is uh, there a valid reason? Yes. <laughs> that works. <laughs> That's why we're here. Well, um, yeah, so I, I'm just, uh, you know, a couple of months, uh, the past few months, I have been trying hard to find myself back. Uh, and I, so Jen, I have a good news for you. So I, I'm in the yoga teacher training now. I almost finished probably December this year. Great. And uh, and my next step will be I want to create a virtual yoga studio uh, where I can create online courses and live streaming. So right. teaching through live streaming. Awesome. Wow, that's great. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah. So I need your help to put into action. <laughs> Hey, that's what we're here. We're engineering visions. That's what I just learned today. Yay! <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> so, all right. All right, well, uh, Alan, let's do a quick introduction. I think a lot of people know us pretty well, and a few people are new and might uh, like to know a little bit more about who we are. So, uh, why don't I jump in, and then you uh, jump in next, okay? Okay. Okay, well, let's see. How do I do an introduction? I'm Jan Stringer, and I'm the founder of Perfect Customers Incorporated, and I live in Santa Fe, New Mexico, and my vision is to help people who are wanting to expand in any way, whether it's a personal relationship they're looking to expand or a business they're looking to expand or just personally, personally inside you want to expand into a new part of yourself. Um, my, one of the things that really lights me up is to help people to discover what makes them tick and how that connects to your vision, your business, your personal life, all the areas of your life. And so what I like to do is help people to not only get in touch with what makes them tick and tie the pieces together with vision of what they want to see um, and manifest in the world, but also to give it legs because well, one of the things uh, that I like to do is visioning, not just visioneering, but to help people to see it, feel it, smell it, taste it, touch it, and give it some legs, not just let it exist up in the in the clouds, but to really bring it down here on the ground and and make it something that is a reality. So that's why I'm here, is to help people to get more in touch with their vision and their dream, their ideas, and expand it out, give it some legs. And I'll tell you more about how I want to 
inspire people to do that not only through zoom video but I want to hug your neck in the process in a real live event so we'll tell you more about that in a minute well I'm Alan Hickman and um, <clears throat> I guess the, the best, the reason that I'm here is really about visioneering. I just love that, that as we've been talking about and developing what visioneering is and I've been researching it a little bit, I really get that it's something that drew me into the Perfect Customers program from the very beginning. Uh, I just remember when I was reading uh, the galley copy of Attracting Perfect Customers, uh, it's on my way to Iowa City with a friend of mine, and uh, she handed me the book to keep me busy. She was on the phone doing uh, amazing deals, marketing deals with uh, Robert Allen and Mark Victor Hansen at the time. And uh, I looked through the book, Attracting Perfect Customers, mm -hmm. The Power of Strategic Synchronicity, and in the first 20 minutes of just going through that book, I had a vision for myself. That was, what, 14 years ago. And so now, fast forward, here I am in six, no, sorry, no. <laughs> well, the other day I said, oh, I've been in sales and marketing for 30 years, and uh, then I realized I've been in sales and marketing for 40 years. So it's been 16 years since I first began to experience that vision in myself about attracting perfect customers, the power of strategic synchronicity. And the vision for me was to actually have a structure through which I could deliver my truest gift and, and live my purpose and passion in life. And sure enough, that's exactly what, uh, you know, what I'm doing. But I've, I've been renewed in this conversation about visioneering because I realize now that visioning is like, Jan, here's one of my favorite words, is like priming the pump of fulfilling on my vision. You have to have the vision first and then taking action on that vision um, to really activate the law of attraction, connect myself with source energy that uh, then I can draw on and I get more thoughts, more ideas, access to resources without limit. And so I start to see that that's really what's sort of the thread to pull on out of this visioneering um, video chat that we're having right now. And to be able to be here and share it with so many amazing visioneers um, is just really a fulfilling experience for me. So that's, you know, that's what got me here, why I'm here, and I'm just really glad to be in the room with all these amazing people. Yeah. Well, that, that's really just it. You touched on a really great uh, part of visioning is at some point in time, you know, you're not just visioning, you're actually living it. And uh, that's what you, I heard and what you said is one day you had an idea, a dream, a vision, and today you are a living example of fulfilling on that. You've got legs underneath your vision. So uh, many people have probably, yes. you know, if we went around the room, we could probably uh, hear from everyone how you had a vision or an idea many, many different times of your life. And so we feel that this is the time of year that I know I start to look at the end of this year coming around and I start to looking at the beginning of the next year and how do I want the next year to go? How do I want the end of this year to go? What was it that I started on the beginning of this year that I wanted to like really wrap up with a bow? But also, I like to be inspired and start thinking ahead now rather than waiting for the end of the year, January, to sneak up on me. So uh, for that purpose, uh, we are hosting a live event. So all of that we're talking about today is hopefully to entice you uh, to be able to come to Santa Fe and join us. But whether you can do that or not is uh, our intention today is that we inspire you to start dreaming and uh, sometimes we have let go of dreams and I found that dreams that I let go of that come back around 
sometimes I'm, I'm ahead of my time. And uh, at the time that those dreams didn't really start to take place the way I wanted them to was sometimes an indication that, one, it might not have been really for me, and some of those just disappeared and I never really thought about it again. But there are certain ones that came back around for me to play again. And because of that, you may be having a dream that you've dreamed already or one that you thought about many times before and the timing just wasn't uh, aligned for where you were in uh, your life. So that could also be some part of your vision as well. well. You may not have a clear vision of what your vision actually is. You know, sometimes those are the most difficult things. I mean, some, when we have, uh, I know when I've gone through periods in my life where I really want that vision to come in, uh, it can be uh, going through a phase like, uh, feels like limbo or in the void. It can be very, very frustrating to feel like I want something to come through and it's just not happening. So all of those stages are things that we're going to be going through very, very thoroughly at the Visioneering Retreat because knowing the different uh, aspects of how, a, how to go from an idea or a dream or even wanting to have an idea that it comes to fruition, how to go through and navigate those stages is what will keep a dream alive. Now, Perfect Customers is also a good example of a vision that I had uh, actually uh, when I was a, a VP of sales inside of a corporation and I was very, very stressed out and I started attending a dance class called NIA, NIA Technique, some of you may have heard of that, and I went there primarily to manage the neck pain that I had uh, from working in this particular job. And, uh, you know, I wasn't really fulfilled in that job, even though I thought that was, and it was at one time, the, a dream that I had to be in that particular role. But I was at a place where, you know, my body was telling me otherwise, that while I thought it was the, the deal for me, my body is hurting, I'm tired all the time, uh, I'm not excited about my life, and I had, you know, evidence all around me, my relationships, uh, I was single, and dating and that that wasn't going well either um, and these are all indications outward indications that there's something in internally that's wanting to line up and it's not lined up with my life and so uh, I started doing this particular dance technique and it was actually on the dance floor where I started to get creative again and that was one of my aha moments is that during a dance class, I realized that the life that I had chosen and gotten myself into had stopped the creativity. And uh, anybody that knows me knows that I've got to be creative. And if you knew me when I was a kid, uh, up until I got business-like, um, I was a very creative person. I was always dancing. I was always in some kind of artistic endeavor. I did... I did sculpture, weaving, painting, uh, silk screening. <laughs> I made belts. I mean, you know, I was always trying some kind of a crea creative endeavor. Uh, I was a writer. I was, a, you know, all sorts of things that were really wonderful for me as a creative person. But when I got into the business world, it's such a left brain kind of organization that I stopped being creative. So you may be in a place where you have gotten in the rut of things, in the doing of things, and you forgot that little kid part of you that allows you to be imaginative. Now that was how I was. But I've also met people, and maybe that you might relate to this, that you are so imaginative that you spend so much of your day in your imagination and that you know you you're like creative like ideas just flow from you all the time and you've got lots and lots of creativity and you've got less results to show because you're so far into your creativity and your imagination that you have not really balanced it out with the manifestation of all of the ideas that you have and I've been in those zones as well. 
So another aspect of our visionary retreat is learning to bring balance into the, the left brain and the, and the right brain and really be able to not only be that imaginative person, but also to uh, bring those ideas into fruition. Let's see, we got a little chat going on. Okay. Oh, that's from you. Yeah, uh, can you hear me now? Okay, you're up. Yeah, listening, you know, listening to you, it's really moving and inspiring to hear you speak about your personal experience. And what I got was that on this Zoom video chat, we're actually going to give everybody a direct personal experience of the transformation that Jan is talking about. And one of the reasons that we, we're going to do that is that you're going to actually experience it for yourself. And a very selfish purpose is that if you realize that, wow, if I can get that kind of result just from doing this exercise and this practice over a Zoom video, what might be possible if I was actually in the room with other human beings? Bodies. So, All right, gonna, I see some gonna, laughter. I see yeah. some voice of recognition. Uh, the floor is open, and then we'll give you some real experience of that. In just a second. Who wants to uh, add something? What are you noticing? Well, that, that balance that you're talking about, that's really interesting. Very interesting for me. It's very easy to go to one side or to another. You mean the balance of left brain, right brain? Right. It's, uh, yeah. it's, very, it's very easy to either be completely left wing, uh, left wing, I mean, sorry, <laughs> left, left brain. <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm just watching too much politics uh, recently. It's, uh, it's uh, just possible to, to be too left uh, brain and just get, completely logical and say, okay, this is it. I'm just going to create a to-do list and just go step by step <laughs> and just not having any vision or just get lost in your dream and not to bring anything to fruition. So I think that I'm very interested in that balance. Okay, great. All right, well, those are... You know, those are two areas that you can get stuck in one or the other, and nothing really gets produced in either one. You may get stuff done if you're stuck over in the left brain and you want to just get stuff done. Sometimes that's what you need to call on, and sometimes you need to allow yourself to dream and be in your right brain. Anybody else? Uh, let's see. Um, on the chat line, Rachel said, you've motivated me to turn on my imagination into loving action. Thanks. So, yay. Anybody else want to add something, uh, any comments before we move on? Well, I just wanted to validate the wisdom that Marima just surfaced. There's a, there's a Japanese proverb that I've always really uh, admired. It's a uh, vision without action is a daydream. An action without vision is a nightmare. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> we need that balance. You're right. And, uh, and that's what, what we're learning, that, that book that, uh, by Daniel Pink, A Whole New Mind, how, was it, how right-brainers are going to rule the world. As it turns out that the creativity and the imagination and uh, the right brain thinking is really what, uh, what produces results even though it looks like the left brain, you know, directed and purposeful. Right. Lovely. Thank you. So we're about to have a direct personal experience of that. <laughs> well, uh, just to set that up a little bit more is I'd like to share with you a visioning exercise. Uh, two things I want to share with you uh, that are near and dear to me. One is a visioning exercise and, and, and the visioning exercise goes along perfectly with the strategic attraction planning process. So if you're familiar with that, uh, wave. <laughs> I know you are because uh, everybody that I'm seeing on the videos, I know you're very familiar with the strategic attraction planning process. Um, and then how that really pertains to your vision 
is that in every idea or dream, something that you want to bring forward, there's something very important. There's two very important aspects of that. And one is yourself. And two is the person or the relationships that are going to help you bring that into fruition. And that could be many different types of relationships. For example, like real people, people with bodies. <laughs> did you say bees with bodies? What did you say? I'm like hearing something. <laughs> no, I said, like, so I was making that relationship to uh, like being at the retreat. So it's relationship with real people. Oh, with real people. Okay, people with bodies. Okay, I heard you. So, uh, yes, yeah, so that's, you know, and Rachel uh, has chatted something here about, also about collaboration is important to turn the vision into manifestation. And so what I want you to be, I, what I want you to do is pick a relationship, just one type of relationship that you need most right now to attract and that would be the one that um, you that may move you further down the court with your vision, and it may just be somebody that you'd like to attract, and you don't know how they would play a part in your vision. So that's what I want you to do is just pick one kind of relationship. So a kind of relationship it could be a client, it could be a family member, it could be a best friend, it could be a business partner, a business investor. It could be a um, customer. Did I say that? Client. And so just pick something of that and just write that down on your piece of paper. And you, at this point, that's all you really know of who you think that might be. Sometimes we think we that might be a particular kind of person or person but on the other hand uh, it turns out later on that there was somebody else that turned out to be more instrumental but this was the stepping stone that got you there so just pick that out right now and now we're going to do a visioning exercise about who's in the room so I'm going to invite you if you're not muted go ahead and mute yourself <coughs> And uh, it looks like everybody is on the video, so that's fine. And uh, I'm going to just close my eyes, and I'm invite you to do the same. And Marima, you might want to go to sleep because <laughs> you're closing your eyes as late at night. But try to hang in with us for a little bit. All right, so here we go. I'm just going to close my eyes, and I'm going to start with taking some uh, very nice, deep, relaxing breaths. So if you would, just breathe with me for a moment. Take a deep breath. Just breathe in through your nose and release through your mouth. I just like to bring my breath in and hold it for a moment and then let it go. And let's just do that again. And this time, I just really want to feel a little more relaxation as you breathe in. And just relax back into your chair. Just do another nice deep breath. And just let that go too. And just go ahead and breathe on your own, but just take focus on your breath. Let go of your vision or who's in the room. Just for now, just focus on your, your breath and your breathing. Ah. So for this visioning exercise, I want you to think of a beautiful place. Could be any place in the world that you find beautiful. Could be your own home or somebody else's home or a 
beautiful place that you've been to that you'd like to visit in this visioning retreat that we're taking on the Zoom today and go there now. And just picture in your mind's eye the scenery that you're looking at, the kind of structures you're looking at, the buildings. How does the air feel? Is the sky blue? Or maybe it's just before sunset and you're watching a beautiful sunset. Maybe the air is warm or the air is cool. Maybe the breeze is blowing or maybe it's just very, very comfortable and quiet in the world today, wherever you are. And just take a deep breath. Breathe that in. And just feel your heart expanding with each breath. And little by little, it's easier to open your heart and allow all of this magnificence in. And feel the top of your head is opening, your crown chakra is opening up just a little bit and letting in some divine inspiration as well. And in your mind's eye, your third eye, start to feel a little swirling of energy right around that point of your forehead, just in the middle of your forehead. Feel a little energy buzz right there. That's it. Go ahead and allow that part of your body to start to open. And as you move to your next energy center around your throat, area, your throat chakra. Start to feel a vibration in your throat where anything that's less than perfect is starting to move out. Feeling that vibration in your throat where you might have been constricted or the air was too dry or maybe you had choked back some words you really wanted to say and start to feel the throat opening a little wider. And feel a little spiral forming right around the front of your throat. And feel the energy moving from the very center of this spiral and moving outward. And feel the energy moving around that spiral as it starts in a small circle and moves outward. So does your voice. And take a deep breath. And back to your heart chakra, right in the center of your chest cavity. Feel yourself with a beautiful pink, reddish glow right around your heart chakra. Feel that warmth, like something really warm. Feel like a warm hand is placed on your heart. Or maybe a, a scarf that you like to wear that gives you a lot of warmth. In this whole chest area, start to feel relaxation, start to feel comfort, ease, start to relax, letting go of restrictions that you've placed on your heart. Start to feel your heart is wanting and yearning to open wider. And if it feels good to you, do so now, just a little bit means a lot to the heart. Feel the blood flowing easily and the heart is pumping strong. And feel that warmth just penetrating your whole heart area. And take a deep breath. And if any time you want to just tap on these areas just so gently to help you bring attention, do so. I'm going to do that for my solar plexus where I might have been a little nervous about our call today or climbing in front of a video camera or getting on my voice on a phone call with people I've never even met. And go to your solar plexus, just, just above your navel, this whole area, and just 
I'm just warming my area. Now, patting my heart and my solar plexus. So I bring attention to these two areas and I allow myself to open them and to relax and feel ease. And on my power center, my solar plexus, I, will, I just bring attention if there's any time I've given my power away, which we do from time to time. It's not hard to do. We want to give our power to others, but sometimes like now is a good time to bring it back and I reclaim my power now any place I've given it to someone who took my power or I gave it to them just reclaim that power now and moving into the sacral area just in our zone of creativity which is a like a big smile from hip to hip feel a big smile and an opening in our creative zone where our imagination can flow and our inspirations can turn to financially lucrative areas and just feeling this whole areas of creativity opening up even wider and anytime I've closed this area down and it's not freely flowing I open that flow now and I picture a big smile in this area that's happy and joyful and filled with love. And just one more point on our seven chakras. Right at the very tip of my tailbone, I can put my hand back there, the small of my back, and just feel that this is the beginning of life force itself starting at the tail of my tailbone and moving up my spine and allowing this area to flow with power and grace and intention and just feeling that going all the way up the back of my spine and feel the top of my spine releasing anything that's less than desirable and feel the flow moving all the way up and all the way back down and I also feel like I've got from the corner or the tip of my tailbone a tail that is going all the way into the ground and I feel very rooted and grounded and this brings my attention to my feet and I want to feel my feet and put them solid, solidly on the ground both feet and kicking off my shoes if I can and feeling the bottoms of my bare feet touching the ground and both feet just solidifying that grounded connection and feeling myself connected body mind and soul and from the top of my head there's a beautiful cord and connection going all the way up to my highest and most powerful connection of source and from the bottom of my feet I have a strong rooted connection that goes to the core of the earth and we're ready to vision from this place of grounded connection all the way to our highest and best source and know that our bodies are only a vehicle to make that happen where true inspiration comes is from my highest and best source and I may feel it I may see it, I may experience it, I may hear it. There's a variety of ways that my vision can come to me. And I just invite in that vision to come to me now, however I may receive it. I turn the palms of my hands up and I am in open to receive mode. And from this place of grounded connection, sourced connection, I find myself in the middle of a room filled with like-minded, like-hearted people. And the room is abuzz with people all feeling connected and in their bodies and in their highest and best place and in their grounded connection. 
and I look around the room and I see people like me, people I've met and some who I haven't. And I go to the person that I'm attracted to the most. So in our visioning experience, see yourself walking over in this beautiful state of energy to someone in the room. And what is it that drew you to this person? Was it their beautiful eyes, the color of their hair? Was it the shape of their body or the way their shoulders looked? Was it their heart? You felt a strong heart connection. And just allow yourself to be drawn to them like a magnet is to a polarity. And before you even speak to one another, there's an exchange of already knowing who they are. Who are they? Who is this person you've attracted in this room? And just gaze into their eyes. Maybe it's your third eye doing a little exchange. Maybe you're now speaking to one another. Envision what it's like. What does it feel like? What's the emotion? What's the, what's the body sensation? What's the smell? What's the things you're hearing? How do your ears feel as you receive and connect? As you give and receive. And you give this person an acknowledgement, maybe a big smile or a hug, and you say thank you, and you start to come back to your own self, letting go of this vision, letting go of the person you just met, and all the people in the room. And when we come back into our virtual living room on this call, Take out a piece of paper and start to write down what you noticed about this person. And just let the words come to your paper through your pen. Don't edit, don't mark through, but just write down what are the qualities, characteristics, and attributes of this person you just met. And before we do that, just take a deep breath. Start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Start to feel yourself moving your shoulders, perhaps. Just to start to get the sensation of being in your own body again and bring yourself back from this vision. Take a deep breath, and when you're ready, open your eyes and start to write. So on the count of three, I'm going to open my eyes, and if you're ready, do that with me. One, two, and three. I'll just give you some quiet moments here to write. And this is step one of your attraction plan of who you just met. And you're describing the qualities characteristics and attributes. And just remember to keep breathing and allowing yourself to be in the experience. And just go ahead and write. This is a creative zone that you've given yourself today. We're tickling your imagination.
I'll give you just another few minutes. You can continue to write, but we're going to start sharing in just a minute. All right, so as we start to kind of bring ourselves back out of our, our little Zoom <laughs> bubble, you may have to unmute yourself, but I'd love to hear what are some of the things you noticed about the person you met in your vision or just even anything you noticed about the experience. Alan, what'd you notice? I'll start with you. You're always a good observer. Oh, well, no kidding. Um, so it just resurfaced a, uh, <clears throat> a vision, another vision that I had about uh, building a larger list for our Attracting a Perfect Mate program. Uh, and I had a conversation with a um, a good friend of ours, Sheila Paxton, who she had developed a list of about 5,000 people around relationship, and she'd done it really quickly. <clears throat> and in the conversation that I had with her, um, she said, well, Alan, you should just do a gift giveaway. And uh, what that is, is basically you get partners who ha are in the relationship area, and you have them offer a gift, and you have a page where people can come. Everybody sends out uh, emails to their list. People come to the page and choose the gifts that they want. And so <clears throat> who's in the room uh, was someone who gets the gift giveaway concept. That was the first thing that I came up with. It was, it was interesting how it just organically showed up for me. And then as, as I was just being present to your uh, visioning and following your instructions, um, I came up with some qualities, you know, they're well-dressed and I'm just standing there in the room and looking at them across the room and they're well-dressed, radiantly healthy, and they're smiling and happy to see me. And as we start to talk, they, uh, turns out they have a huge list of a uh, huge following of people who see them as trusted authority. Uh, they're what we call JV ready and they have a perfect make mastery gift to give. And uh, they get the whole concept of, uh, of the gift giveaway and how powerful it is for uh, list building and ultimately changing the world and creating world peace through relationship. So that's some of what showed up for me. <laughs> So you saw it. You start to really visualize. Yeah, I was. I know this is a night. This is an idea who time, whose time has come for you. Yeah, I really got present that this person is in the room. Mm -hmm. They're okay. already there and waiting for me. Right. Okay. Who else? Would you notice? Guy, I'll pick on you because <laughs> I can see you. <laughs> you're you're yes, on the guy. Down at the bottom. How, how can you tell? <laughs> okay. There you go. That's good. Um, I noticed a person, and it was a woman with dark hair, and she was very happy and very radiant with light and a very beautiful smile and a very soft voice. 
And that, that's, and I felt this very strong connection to working together with that person. Good, good. That's the way we like it, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, good. So you can visualize it, you know, when we're when we're wanting to attract somebody having, you know, like an an experience, even if it's just a visioning an imaginative experience can set us up to have that, you know, in real life. Like, you know, you could go to a a, a lunch or to a meeting tomorrow and all of a sudden you're going wow you know like deja vu something that you experienced just in your imagination the day before starts to really manifest yeah i really got i really got what you said guy i was actually in the room with this person i love the thing about the soft voice mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, that was just so sweet. And I just heard the soft voice and heard this person speaking uh, to me. And so I got it that you're, you're at, you know, you may walk into a room tomorrow and this person is, is in the room. It may be somebody who you've been in the room with before, but just didn't, didn't know it until now. And now they show up. So this is how we're actually I don't know, manifesting something that's already there. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Sky. Well, picking on video people, Steve, you're next. <laughs> Sky likes okay. sitting in the front row. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I can't hide. Uh, can you hear me okay? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. All right. Uh, the relationship I was looking for was a, a business owner with employees, and, and more specifically, my next client. And this person, what I was seeing was really a, uh, a female that owns the company, and she's, uh, she's very serious about being successful. Uh, she's willing to take risks. Uh, but she also, she understands the power and the value of having engaged employees and she wants the best for employees. She cares about her employees, but she is demanding. Um, and she's open to uh, developing that. Uh, she values happiness, not only for herself, but for her team. And, and realizes that, that as, as aggressive or serious as she is about being successful, she sees her goals as, as a journey, uh, as opposed to a destination that, you know, it, it's not dependent on the destination as much as it is the journey. And... Um, That, that's kind of what I was getting. Okay, good. Good, good, good. All right, anybody else that's uh, maybe listening from a phone line uh, like to chime in? May not be in the video. Maybe if you would like to share. Uh, Jen, this is Rachel. Hi, Rachel. Hi. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> okay. Uh, Welcome back. So, um, yeah, the relationship I pick on uh, is love partner. Mm -hmm. uh, so one of the things when uh, I did the visioning, I actually really imagined myself there with this person. It's been coming out a couple of times. So today it's, it's a little bit more vivid. Uh, so the quality that I see on this person is have a strong, strong and loving heart. Um, and this person is very caring and he has a value in happiness, just like me. Um, and he's very um, true to himself and he's kind and he loves children. And I, what I feel is the feeling 
uh, of our energy in sync. Like when you say, I, I don't remember which part, but when you see, you, when you vision about the sunset, I felt in my heart that that person is actually standing behind me. Um, and, and I feel it. I think this is really real. <laughs> Uh, it, it's, it's kind of, this is kind of magical for me. You know, I feel like I came to this call. It, it, that's for a reason. It's just like it adding more things into this person that I felt is uh, getting closer to me now. Mm-hmm. Um, and one of the things is I would like him to have either like British or European accent. <laughs> <laughs> like a little different, you know, like we yeah. can share a different language. Uh, I like that. You bet. And, and blue, blue eyes, you know, I like blue and I love <laughs> ocean. And blue eyes would be nice, you know, it's kind of like seeing a dolphin. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, so I imagine, I, I really have a picture that I kind of meet this person near to the ocean and we were standing right on the beach um, looking out. And and really seeing the whole scenery there. Right. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Okay. It's me. Yeah, I feel uh, great sharing. Good, good. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. All right. Well, you know what we're what we're sharing here is what we call part one or step one of the strategic attraction plan, and. And adding this part of our strategic attraction plan with a visioning exercise starts to really sink it in to integrate it into our physical self and our mind. It also opens up the senses to really start to attract what it is and not only just to attract it, we are feeling, if, if I've heard this from several people, that you can feel like you are living it. Like it was, it felt very, very real. And that is what will start the manifestation process faster than anything I know is to get it clear in my own mind's eye and to really vision it, really sink it in, really feel like it's already happened. Because, you know, on some level, it probably has that. I wouldn't be getting that vision if it isn't getting ready to happen. And the more that I can embody it, the more I can see it, feel it, smell it, you know, touch it, uh, the more that it is possible. Yeah, I love what you just said there about feeling it, seeing it, hearing it. Uh, That's why I was so moved by guys uh, when you mentioned soft voice. And so I was thinking, as Rachel was describing, his British European accent, you know, does he have a soft voice? And so the senses really come into play here and feeling it, yes. sensing it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, we're just about a, a little bit over our call time today, so I want to bring it to a close. And and for me and my visualization, what this experience today really helped me uh, because in my who was in my room were about 50 people who were like-minded people they were uh, grounded they were connected to source their feet were firmly grounded their energies were alive and present and they were really envisioning what they wanted to live their life and who they wanted to be with and that, uh, I just, I mean, now I wrote that down uh, and I really got, that's what our visionary retreat is going to be like. And I know some of you on this uh, this chat today are, are planning to be there. Uh, I know, Steve, you're going to be there. Just give us a wave. <laughs> and, uh, of course, uh, many of the people that you've heard from today uh, are planning to be there. And we have room for more people. So the retreat, just to plug that and put it into your vision, if you really want to be at this retreat, I can help you envision it. And we're giving you a time, a date, a place for it to actually happen. And it's about a month away, so it's November 14th, 15th, 16th. It's in Santa Fe, New Mexico. That's a Monday and a Tuesday and a half a day on a Wednesday. So you can travel in on the weekend and see beautiful Santa Fe if you'd like. 
And um, what I can really say uh, about this retreat is that you're going to walk out the door and you're going to have something that you never dreamed possible. I, I can promise you that. So making the effort to be in person with these kind of people that you've met on the call today is going to move you further. Either it'll actually jumpstart your vision or it will put it, it'll so solidify it in your, in your awareness that your new year, your in, even your end of this year, is going to look very, very different by attending this retreat. And so it'll be worth having to rearrange your schedule <laughs> if you feel like that has to, you have to arrange something. Because we're all really busy and we think, oh, I'll do it next time when I have uh, more, uh, more time to plan or to open my schedule. So the uh, retreat is going to be held uh, in, so I was just responding to a chat, okay, I will provide the address to the retreat to you, Rachel, I've got a welcome package to mail out to you, uh, email it to you, and I'll get you all the details of hotels and where you can stay. But I wanted to just kind of touch on what you said there, Alan, for a second, because I was speaking with one person as you as you illustrate in that example is that the perfect person for this retreat uh, could be so busy that you haven't had time to think about a, a vision could be you know I could talk to one person who is coming who is in the accounting business and she's been crunching numbers and de meeting deadlines and talking to all her clients to make sure they're all timely through the end of October. And the idea of sitting around visioning a retreat to her was in the beginning probably sounded a little bit like, uh, uh, I don't know, winning the lottery, <laughs> you know, like, oh, yeah, that's really not going to happen. But um, there's a lot uh, of, of, of evidence from the people that have come to our retreats that results get produced that you can't imagine were going to happen. And so I would say that if your schedule is a little bit too busy to that you want to consider yourself a good candidate for the retreat. Uh, if you're so busy that you have to rearrange your schedule, that's a good thing, I think. So uh, a friend of mine told me one time that possibility shows up as, as a major interruption in one's life. And so that's what this retreat is about. It's a possibility and it's designed to interrupt. And so we all have these patterns that we fall into and we, we've got our life all lined up the way it is and that's just not going to produce an extraordinary result. And so that's what the retreat is designed to do. It's designed to interrupt that and it's also designed to uh, get you out of your rut, out of your pattern, out of your environment and put you smack dab in a room full of people that are, are really amazing people that are up to something. And there's actually someone on this Zoom video chat right now who actually took that on a couple of years ago, Guy Harvey, and uh, <laughs> moved mountains to be able to come to a retreat here in Santa Fe, New Mexico. And so it's absolutely amazingly fulfilling for me to see Guy uh, talking about uh, what he's up to and uh, you know, going on. So I would love to see my Harvey in Santa Fe so that I could put my arms around uh, that. I, I could use a Guy Harvey hug head. as well. So, all right. Well, uh, I didn't mention this, but the cost to attend the right. retreat is only $197. That's it. It's 197 for two, two days and a half with brilliant people. And Alan, what's the best way if somebody wanted to get more information, can they go to our website and get the information? Um, or are you going to email or both? What would be the best way? Yeah, there's, uh, there's both. Both. Okay. both. I'll send out an email, but also it's on the website. There's a link. Okay. So our website, in case you don't know, is www.perfectcustomers.com. And it's right on the front page, I believe. All right. Well, we're going to close yes. for today. But um, i just like to thank you very much for Zooming with us and being on the live feed. Thank you to the brave people on the video.
And um, thank you to everybody that tuned in via your phone and we're listening in. I appreciate your time and your energy and we look forward to connecting with you soon. All, All right. right. Bye Thanks, for now. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. 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 Thanks, Sam. Thanks, Sam. Bye-bye. Love you lots. Bye. Love you. Bye-bye.